Hi guys, welcome to Tech Based. In this video, we're going to talk about the latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the Canary Channel, which is the build 26252 for version 24H2. In this video, as always, we're going to talk about what is new, what has changed, and also what is fixed in this latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the Canary Channel. If you enjoy videos like these, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the Tech Based channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. First of all, Microsoft is beginning to roll out weather and more to the lock screen starting with this build in the canary channel and you're going to have finance traffic and sports info inside the lock screen with a new card design with the acrylic blur card size spacing and font optimizations that were added in this build if you want to turn on this feature you just have to open up the settings app then go into the personalization section and then you're going to have to go to lock screen and here if you have this feature rolled out to you you should see more info related to the lock screen especially in the personalize your lock screen section one thing that was added in this build you can right now drag and drop apps from the start menu directly to the taskbar to pin them as easy as that as you can see and then you can right click on an app and then unpin from taskbar all the apps that you have pinned on the start menu you can drag and drop them to the taskbar to automatically pin them so i think that is pretty simple and i think it's a useful addition if you open up the settings app and then go to system and then about we're going to notice that microsoft is also adding the expiry date for builds starting with this build also on the canary channel also inside system then power and battery and then energy recommendations microsoft will add here a new option that will basically allow you to turn off hdr to conserve energy on pcs with hdr displays of course and on power and battery microsoft changed the way that power mode appears optimize your device based on power use and performance and then you can click on this and the section will be expanded with two different options on plugged in and then on battery and you're going to have the option to select what you want if you are plugged in or on battery on your laptop don't think this was possible yet because these options were pretty limited until now but this is a feature that is currently being tested if you want me to make a different video and just show you how to enable this i'm gonna make a different video also on this build the windows studio effects button is present for devices that of course have support for the windows studio effects and that is working on this build but it's disabled by default so if you have a system that has support for this you're going to be able to manually enable this if you're interested in that now let's talk about some fixes in this build for example microsoft fixed an issue causing insiders to see errors when attempting to use voice typing with certain languages such as chinese it also fixed an issue where if you went through Windows setup, IEN will unexpectedly be displayed twice in the list of available input methods. Inside the task manager, Microsoft fixed an issue causing colors in the performance section to not display correctly in dark mode. And related to the settings app, Microsoft fixed an issue causing the icons and settings, apps, and startup to be way too large for the available space for some users, causing them to be cut off. Also fixed an issue in settings, system, and then power and battery, which unexpectedly had duplicate text when showing a warning about a slow charge. Charger, and also fix an issue where the Windows Update page in settings was not displayed correctly for some insiders after the previous flight. If you're impacted by this, the update to this build with the fix should still happen on its own. However, you may still need to wait a little bit. And this is basically everything that is new in the latest Canary Channel build. If you want to see the known issues in this build, you can check out the article below or the official Microsoft blog post. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.